amazing trainer, amazing leader from the state out there making a huge difference in the world, and you're special. So thank you so much for coming to your meeting. Give it up for Freddie. So as I mentioned, and this is the, the time of night that we get to share the sound waves, so I'm going to talk really loud. Um, we did kind of keep it more in control uh, this year. So um, Zach's dad, Mike. Zach's big brother, Jeffrey. Zach's older sister, Jackie. And Zach's baby sister, Zoe. So our family has been through one of the greatest challenges that I can imagine. Not the greatest, but one of the greatest challenges that I can imagine experiencing here on Earth, and that is the passing of someone so very, very near and dear to our hearts. There are people that supported our family that made our journey easier. Not good, not easy, but easier. They, they made a huge difference for us. At our first bow ties and butterflies, I came up with the idea to have a, a bow tie and a butterfly of the year award. And I acknowledged those people, but it was a hug on the stage, and I didn't really get, have anything to give them to keep so that they could have a momento of what they really meant to us. In addition to the bow ties and butterflies, there are um, a few people that had such significant impact in our journey. There was a family where every member of that family stood by us in numerous ways. Zach had a girlfriend, and that relationship ended, and it was extremely painful for both of them. Yet they kept that their friendship and their true authentic love for each other alive. She came, even though she was dating someone else, she came and spent time with Zach when he had a second chat conversation with her boyfriend. And they together supported her, supporting Zach. When Zach passed, this family cooked more food than I could possibly imagine for our family, supporting all of our family members that were coming into town. They were there at every aspect of the process with for Zach's celebration of life and his viewings. They were there before everyone and they stayed after everyone. For the past two something years, Zach's motorcycle has been parked in their garage because I haven't had a place to keep it. I mean, that's it's a very tiny nutshell of the impact that this family has had for us. So Anita, if you wouldn't mind. Coming on up here. So Anita, her husband Jim, her daughter Ariel, and her son Dylan, um, his family has they are amazing people. They represent what Place of Possibility is all about. So we want you to have this lasting memento from our hearts to yours for everything you've done for us. Love you. Where's your keys, too? Yes, thank God. So that was our first 2018 kindness award. And so we have a quote on the bottom kind people are the best kind of people. So that was our 2018 Kindness Award. So in 2019, as I shared a little bit, my journey was uh, pretty crazy. But going way back, there's another family that called when Zach was sick where we really couldn't even have a conversation with people. And it's like, what do you need in your home? What can we bring for you? And build a shopping list. 
crowd it up on the doorstep, and never even rang the bell, just it's there for you. Recently, I have been traveling back and forth and needed a place to stay. Well, that's another thing. I stayed with the own dolls multiple times. But I needed a place to stay. And this family is basically anytime you're coming to town, come on, come on. Just you can stay here. It doesn't matter how long we coordinated our dates. And I felt I felt home there. So traveling back and forth to have a home here when I didn't have a physical place to be. When my RV engine blew up, and I had I came back and I had my dog with me, I was staying in the hotel, and there was a crazy story about trying to find a place to live. And so this particular person's not really that much of a dog lover. And um, I really kind of respected and not asked and I didn't have to stay there with my dog. And it really just kind of got down to it. I had two options, like drive my dog to Georgia or it might have been a possibility, and she said, absolutely, it's okay, bring your dog, stay with me. So, yeah, and I stayed with her for a couple weeks, and this family truly is amazing. Elise is one of Zach's uh, dime recipients, he visits her frequently, and Derek and Zach is part of the game, and Diane, you just got an even part of gold, so come on up here. When Zach was sick in summer of 2016, I had a young gal call us up and say, I'd like to do a fundraiser for you. I was blown away. This was a 22-year-old gal, and she wanted to do a fundraiser. I said, I can't help you. There's that. She's like, I got this whole thing. So Nicole Tenuta hosted the first ever cornhole tournament, and this past summer we had the fourth annual cornhole tournament, all based upon just this beautiful, amazing gesture, and this girl has no idea the impact that she has started and how that ball has continued to roll. So, Nicole was the very first ever recipient of our Butterfly of the Year Award, and Nicole has subsequently become a uh, car attendant, and she's traveling all over. So, her participation with the organization uh, has taken a different form, but from our hearts to hers, we have Nicole's award, and we'll be presenting that to her very shortly. Oh, wow. There's a young man. <laughs> there was a young man in our journey. His name is Jackson, and he was a very significant part of our family experience at the time. He walked more dogs and ran more errands, and he was just an angel. And after Zach passed, he was also working in graphic design, and he offered to set up our website. And I was kind of, I was like, okay, sure, I'll take a look at it. I, I looked, I couldn't believe it. It was beautiful. I, I couldn't have created something so amazing. And the butterfly and the pebbles and the colors, I mean, it was just perfect. And so he created that structure and set it up. And Jackson is moving in different directions in life, but every time something goes on on the website, I know I'm going to make it happen myself. And his impact will forever be felt within the place of possibility. So, much love from our hearts to Jackson. Much appreciation. So last year, <laughs> last year I had somebody that stepped in to fill Jackson's shoes with our graphic design, and this amazing, sweet, kind, generous, do anything gal that you know not understand the word really. Uh, took Jackson's work and ran with it, and she, every single flyer, poster, the champagne glasses, the um, 
shot glasses, she has designed everything and she has put hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of work, I think mostly between midnight and 3 a.m. if I'm correct. <laughs> she has really poured her heart into doing all of this. You know, is is a nonprofit, but we, we don't pay anybody. We have nobody on salary. Everything that we've done is all from the generosity and kindness of others. So Amy has completely donated her time and her talent to our organization and we're so Amy, this year, I wanted to ask her to create an award, but I was like, she's a recipient, so that's not going to work so well. So this year, I made it happen all on my own, though I did ask you for the graphic, right? So anyway, and on, so for our volunteers, our quote, Volunteers are love in motion, and that really sums up for these people. So, thank you. So, our Vote Buy of the Year award last year was kind of amusing, but kind of not, because I think I spent five minutes sharing accolades of this young man, and we had that going on, only like a lot more powerful, and he was sitting right against the wall, and I was over there, and he was eating, and then he's like, everybody's looking, he didn't hear a word I said! <laughs> so, 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 Ryan, you know, but again, my son from another mother, and I think you can get kind of a feel for Ryan with that amazing piece that he wrote, and his personal growth and development and who he is as a person and what he's doing in life and what he's done to place the possibility, absolutely amazing. So our last year's recipient of the Bowtie Award, Brian Kamada. <laughs> this time he's on the right side of the room. <laughs> he can hear you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How many people get two families? Oh. So we'll go, ladies, first, first from tradition. Um, this sweet young thing is another one that really doesn't say all that much. But boy, I'm telling you, she is dynamite and powerful, and she gets it done. She's been a volunteer with Place of Possibility for a couple years, and this year, I say something, and it's done. And she is an amazing creator herself, she has designed a special version of the logo that I have for a future creation that I haven't had a chance to work on yet. She single-handedly came up with the idea of design, bought all the materials, punched all the paper, created the amazing gifts that we have for you all tonight hanging in the middle of the table, our uh, ornaments for bow ties and butterflies 2019. So Maria, is just amazing, 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 and you are our 2019 Butterfly of the Year. been around our family for a lot of years and a very close friend of Zach's. This young gentleman has brought lots and lots of humor to a little bit of destruction and has left some lasting marks in our hearts and our homes. He has really stepped up to the plate this year as well and just 
being there, offering, asking, what can I do? How can I help? And it's just so heartwarming and heart touching. Early in the year, it was one of our first events. Um, we have people come and go, volunteers come and go. And these young people that have been involved in our lives and friends with Zach's, like they don't go anywhere, they're around, but I'm not really sure how it evolved, but they were like, you know what? We want to have a bigger impact. We want to be a, be a bigger part of place of possibility. And I was like, how cool is that? Like Zach's closest friend is at the helm of an organization inspired by the kind acts that Zach did in his life. So one of his best buds and just amazing, amazing, kind, loving, humorous gentleman, Mr. Nick Upper. Um, for the past two years, and I moved out to a very, very small town called Carnival, California. I'm sure most of you have never heard of it. It's uh, about three hours, three and a half hours um, northeast of LA, uh, 2,500 foot elevation in the uh, desert foothills of the Sierra Nevada. It's an absolutely amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous place. Tiny town, population 1,800 people. That community, they became my second family out there, and there was one special lady who opened her home, her heart, she accepted both Kodiak and I, her friends, really made us feel like we had a home there when it was pretty much in the middle of nowhere. So this lady, always giving, 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 never a clue that she was really in financial dire straits. And she almost lost her home. So when I left, I, I made a personal donation to her, and it inspired me to create our newest appreciation and award. And I'm calling it the Place of Possibility Peace Award because she brought so much peace to my heart, and her name is Peace. So I thought, how appropriate is that? And one of the first times that I was over in her home, she's like, she has her office on her bed, and she's like, I woke up my bed, and come on up. And I'm like, well, all right. So, you know, I just met her. I go up, and I sit. She's like, she's like, can you get me something off my desk? I walk over, blue butterfly sticker, uh -huh. right underneath her computer keypad. And I'm oh. just like, oh. I'm supposed to be her. Yeah. So Janice had, she inspired me. And so this was going to be like going back. I do not have an actual award for her because I just created it recently. But just to put it out there in the communities, if you know of someone, right, that is just always, always, always doing kind acts for others, and financially they're really in a very, very, very challenging position, that that's something that um, we would like to entertain as an organization as far as some support to those who families like that. Again, as a possibility, we have many focuses. Uh, Project Parent, one very, very, very near and dear to my heart and really our main focus. And the Christmas tree back there on the table is a representation of a live tree that was donated by Sieverts. So there is a single mom who has four children. Uh, she just um, got an apartment and one of her children is on hospice. So she has no way to provide a Christmas uh, for her family this year. So that tree will be donated to that family. And our 50-50 raffle tonight, proceeds will be going to support not only that family, but other families with children on hospice at this time of year where they would not have a Christmas without our support. So I do encourage you to participate in our raffles. Um, one of our parts of our mission statement is integrity. And what you hear here, that's what it is. And you can take that to the bank for forever as far as this organization goes. 
If we're doing a 50 50 raffle and we say every penny here goes, that's where every penny goes. We are an organization, we do have, we do have expenses, but our focus is making sure that money goes to the projects that we are supporting. So we all gratefully appreciate all your support. We want to make it fun, we want to have a really good time doing it, and there's no reason why we can't. Why? Because everything is possible. So as we host these events and fundraisers, cornhole tournaments, wine tasting, dinners of possibility, our Bowtie and Butterfly Gala, all of it, we want, we want you guys to say, hey, that was really a great time, and it was really a great value for me, and I feel really good by going and participating and helping people out. So we so, so, so appreciate your support. This year, my intention was to fill this portion, and I, I got to knock around a little bit, I'll tell you. Um, next year, I, I'm going to commit to this space again, and I want at least my 150 people in here. If everybody in this room was excited and brought somebody with them, we'd have it done. Next year's our fourth, but I'm, for the, our fifth gala, I don't want that. Yeah. I want the whole ball. Yeah. Okay, and there's no reason why that can't happen, and I'm committed. I'm committed to that goal. So 500 people, fifth annual gala. Next year, though, it actually falls on Dex's birthday, so oh. that's kind of that's very special for us. Oh, wow. um, I also like to acknowledge um, our other grieving families. One of the aspects this year that I wasn't really able to get into place because of my circumstances was uh, my grieving mom and goddesses. In the past two years, we've had a spa day for them, pedicure, manicure, hair, makeup, just a little pampering. I mean, I can't, I can't share with you what a shattered heart like that feels like over the past of a child. But that goddess Vanessa, she puts her, her fingers. I mean, she's just so healing. So we weren't able to make that happen this year. We do have a we do have um, another mom in the room, and she's on the program. So Mavis uh, had a son past thirty years ago, and another one of those miraculous connections. I Kenneth reached out to me from the Pow Artists. They are supporting. They are actually fundraising for us. And I went and I spoke very briefly at one of their events, and Mavis came up to me and said, "I had a child with us." And you know what? When you have a child pass, it can be three years or 30 years. It's there. And you can create a better experience out of it. And that's another one of my passions. I work with grieving moms to help them process their energy and their experience in their grief. But uh, Mavis has joined us tonight and she created this amazing butterfly for me. And her significant other, Stefan, I don't know if you saw the silent auction table. He hand painted those four blue, five blue butterflies that they spent three days each on each of those creations. So our donors have been very generous. We have some minimum bids back there. So we want you to break good deal, get great deals. We want you to be able to take things home and be excited about it. But let's see if we can meet some minimum bids and make it happen. So what we're going to do now is. We are going to uh, pull the lock out, right? So how many people in here bought a champagne glass or two or 15? Um, All right, so what we're going to do is we're going uh -huh. to spend some time unlocking the locks. You can mill around, so I'll dessert and coffee out there, I hope. So I'm hoping um, and the bar, bar is here for another 40 minutes. Um, we're, we're, so this is what we're going to do this year. We made it a little bit different. Cornhole, that's like our wrap or second thing. And it's free and it's fun and everybody accepts that. Last year we had some raffles and by the end of the night, I mean, it's kind of time to go home. So we decided to make the most of our things tonight, a uh, silent auction. Um, we're going to call the silent auction, we'll give a five minute, and then we're not going to stand up and read everybody off, so, you know, you guys just bring your slip up, and we'll take care of the transaction, and anybody who's not involved in that can do whatever they want. We still, um, we have raffle tickets, so if you all want to take one of your ornaments, there's a raffle ticket on the bottom, and we'll pull some door prizes while we're doing all that. Um, and... Okay, so we have our um, our blackjack uh, drawn as well. 
So let's uh, look at the, get the lock activity going up here. If you want to mill around, and then yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up. So. All right. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.